right, so Neo Philo um Bird? She's a she, she's a bird. Also a Anyways, new Philo character is here. We're going to be rocking her with full UR attack crit gear and uh, seeing how good she does in PvP. I think I'm going to play both ungeared and geared in this video only because I think her performance in both is going to be spectacular. Um, she is one of the characters that honestly I think will make Merlin even better. And I think in ungeared it's even better for her because then you're probably not going to face any Reinhardts, but. Honestly, I don't think she's even scared of Reinhardt's in the first place. She's just that hard of a hitter. Uh, let's see what we face here first, and I'll talk about what she does. Demons. Okay. L let me attack first, and then we'll I'll say. So, first turn, we're gonna go classic. We're just gonna... You know what? We're just gonna do this. Um, yeah. Debuff. Attack. And... I don't want a single target. We're gonna single target Chandler. Because I wanna kill him next turn. Boom. 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 The 7% stats. <laughs> God damn it, the 7% stats. But almost, basically, 100 to 0 that Chandler. You see that? That single target card only has a 200% multiplier. And you know how she hits that hard? Well, uh, when ally damages every enemy with skills, for every debuff on the enemy, nullifies 8% of resistance and crit defense. If there are 5 or more debuffs on the enemy, increases single target damage, uh, excluding ult, by 60%. And then the, the cap on that core resistance and core defense is 40%. Let's do uh, this and this, but it's not going to be very hard because she's disabled. She, Merlin, is ignoring crit resistance and crit defense with her card by uh, the X percent. Is it three times? That's disabled. That's crazy. Okay, so let's continue. That AoE is weak point. So her being disabled means that that would have done three times the damage. I messed up. You know, I should have done the weak point card. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done the weak point card. Uh, her single target is stun, but it was level one that I did there. So it only had a 200% with no effect. Uh, stun can come in clutch, but honestly, that's a DPS card because she just hits so hard. Then her ultimate is Z Fast Zaldra's ultimate. Her Holy Relic, though. So, her Holy Relic, I think, is what ties her in together with everything. For each debuff on the enemies... I don't have it here on me. Damn it, I thought I had it. Uh, for each debuff on the enemies, increases attack-related stats by 3%, up to 15 times. So, when you start the match, you're buffing your attack-related stats by 45%. And that's why, with only a 200% multiplier on that card... She almost one-shot Chandler, one of the most defensive characters in the game. That's no easy feat, right? So we're going to go in back. Uh, you know, I might swap to Echidna. I have Gopher here, because I just like Gopher. Uh, and that's what they damage are using. But I think Echidna will make her even better. Let's, let's swap to Echidna real quick. So it's kind of funny, right? Because they released uh, Now For Me, which I also think is really good. And he is a super stupid defensive unit that doubles on as a damage dealer the more times he, uh, he gets hit. But this unit is a glass cannon that <laughs> obliterates the enemies. <laughs> Level one. <laughs> uh, like, she's dead here. <laughs> but that was some great damage. On a full mono red, like look at Reinhardt's health. He's dead next turn. Unless he gets like uh, immortality or something, he is completely dead next turn. She's probably dead though. I'm surprised she's not. I guess that 24% HP from, uh, from the guy with. Oh, but I'm also getting stats from uh, 
Her. Let's do the attack here on uh, Twigo, just so we can see a, a big number again. Okay, he didn't have as many debuffs, so she didn't hit nearly as hard. The more debuffs the enemy has, the more damage. I, I think Green Sauriel might actually be it. I have Red Sauriel because I want her to do even more damage, but... To the point where you're ignoring 40% of their crit defense, I think more debuffs might just be better. Oh. I think one more, I actually really want to see her in ungeared because, I mean, the numbers on geared are much bigger, right? So it's going to look better, but I think we can 100 to 0 so many more characters with this rotation like this. That's exactly 5 debuffs. Also, for the ones that are going to be asking why my name is not Nag, uh... Oh. I've been mentioning this in my videos today, so probably already harder. I don't know what happened to my account. It's been hacked or something. I'm probably going to have to buy a new one or see what happens. I, I, have, I have my ideas of what to do, but I'm unsure at the moment. So, if you want to help out in any way, check out Gamer Subs. Tomorrow they're dropping the Tilly Milk flavor, which is certainly not come. It's definitely not come. Uh, so if you want to check them out tomorrow on the 28th, it might be already the 28th for you if you're not, not already watching this uh, the day I'm releasing this video. Use code NAG for, it's either 10% off or free shipping. I cannot be asked to check, but you can check yourself. <laughs> so yeah, today we're, we're looking at a pretty strong philo though. Ooh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, 12 million box AC, no. Uh, our Philo does have all cosmetics and Holy Relic. I did want to look at her with max attack potential. We're getting wiped. There's no way we survive this. Yeah. So that, that that's what's going to be about with this team, right? You go first and you wipe, or you go second and you die. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the idea, I guess. I've been attacking with Akidna first. I've been attacking with Akidna first because I um, want to seal their Tarmio link. But honestly, I should attack with Merlin first. Because if I attack with Merlin first, I debuff them twice. Um, and then attack with Akidna. By the time Akinos attack hits, it's three debuffs. That's uh math. Of 24% crit resistance, ignore uh, ignoring you know ignoring for uh, math. Tw ignoring 24% of crit resistance. Um so it's probably better for her. Because she'll crit more often, but it's okay. We're gonna the debuff this time. Not the debuffing ran actually matters, but we'll see damage on the only two debuffs. Yeah, she need she needs to attack someone that has like five debuffs, and then she just pops off. Okay. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Uh hmm. Would this kill Rimmer? I think it kills. Then it cleanses. But... Stun? 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 No stun. Um, That's not good. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Mm. Uh, I found a problem with my strategy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys realized it yet. Uh, of course. Hmm. I will do this because 
the more debuffs, the more stats we have. Even if the more debuffs means... <gasps> no! I should have... No, I should have away with her! I would have killed the Merlin! No, stupid! I would have killed the Merlin! He wouldn't all... He wouldn't be able to stand first! Oh my god! This is the type of shit I do! Oh my god, she wouldn't die! That's my fault. I actually could have easily killed- See, me ignoring crit resistance and crit defense means I hit so much harder than I'm used to with these characters. I mean, Akina and Merlin can hit very hard regardless of having the uh, new character or not. But with the 40% damage reduction, I just wasn't expecting that Merlin should take that much damage. Maybe I should have. Ooh, demons. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me try the debuff first, and then Echidna. I should have already swapped to Green Salio. I keep forgetting because brain not smart. Ooh, not quite. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, okay, okay. Because here's the thing, right? Uh, I'm still going to win because obviously, I mean, <laughs> they have like no health. But this is not too much better than before. If you ran mono green against, you know, a demon team, you know, you made the demons suffer about as much damage, maybe a little bit less, uh, in just one turn, right? With like Rimuru and stuff. Um, I think if I have green Saurio, I can, instead of debuffing with Merlin, I can use this card. And I attack with Akidna first, then use this card, do a little bit more damage, and then this card. And I'll be a fully wipe. I think then I'll fully wipe. Uh, let me get the ending screen for her. I don't think I got it yet. I haven't got her ultimate yet either. If this doesn't kill, I'll do the ultimate. Yeah. Her attacking non-debuffed units is kind of sad. They, she really needs to attack debuff characters. If she doesn't, she does no damage. The difference is crazy. Wait, did she say... Oden no Kachi? I butchered that. Just like Counter Melly? I think she does. I think she does, actually. I feel like such a boomer. Being like, oh, does she say the thing I recognize? <laughs> I remember this line back in my day. We used to play with Counter Meliodas and he was so good. I forgot to change again. I'm so old. I'm sorry. I'm, it's been a stressful day, okay? I've been try listen, I, I I try not to panic and, and be, you know, very... I don't know the words for, for what I'm trying to express here, but... How much? I'm trying to not be too crazy about, you know, I'm in a, a weird situation right now with my account. But, you know, I still have to post my videos, you know? <laughs> it doesn't stop that. So I'm a little bit stressed, trying to, you know... Get all this stuff done in the middle of trying to recover my account and stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm, I, I barely ate today because I didn't have time to. Uh, <laughs> I still gotta make my showcase. How am I gonna? How am I gonna pay for that other account I might have to buy if I don't make the showcases? You know? How would that work? Anyways, she looks very strong. Um, I'm gonna end it here because I don't want to. Uh, this is not my account, so I don't want to spend too many gems refreshing stamina. I will make another video on her, uh, going more in depth, probably tomorrow once I have things more situated. And with more teams, let me know what teams you guys would like to see with her. I don't know if there's much else, if I'm being honest, I don't think there's much else for her. But if you guys have some ideas, let me know. It's just, when it comes to applying this many debuffs to the enemies, right? She wants to apply five debuffs. 
five. She wants the enemy to have five debuffs for her to be at full potential, right? All of them. She wants to stack 15 times that uh, attack related stats Holy Relic, right? Oh, that, that was unfortunate. The debuffs um, all went. It's fine. She wants to stack that, that Holy Relic. Max out, right? And for that, you need like a character who's going to be debuffing like, like crazy. And Green Merlin is the character. That's why I said, right? Like, if you summon for Green Merlin, she's going to be great for you. But if you didn't, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. We'll see.